everyone, Soleil here and I'm back for another book haul. So right now what I'm gonna do is a post-birthday book haul. My birthday was September. Uh, my friends Rav and Eka got books for me and it was delivered sometime October, end of October. And um, we were able to meet up just last Friday. And finally, I got the books. It's here, so I'm gonna share it with you guys. So let's start. First is this one, Circe by Madeline Miller. Um, she's author of the Song of Achilles as well. Um, I know there is a lot of um, reviews, good reviews for both of her books. And um, my friend Raf, because um, he read this already, and he said this is one of the. Um, it's quite painful. I don't know how painful it is, but he said it's worth it. Hi, Raf, by the way. And then the end pages. The and this one's the best. The naked spine. Wait for a while. Show you. Sorry for the glare. You see that? It's so pretty, right? My goodness. Can't get enough of this book. And the back cover. If you're familiar with the book ink, I forgot the, the author. It has the same like color combination theme like this kind of gold as well and black um, if you'll notice as if they have the same kind of design as well but um, I'm not sure if they have the same genre this one is all about a uh, more of a Greek mythology kind of story and when I'm not usually into reading the synopsis but I was so curious when Raf told me that it's a bit painful so um, I read I read it and I was just happy that it's more of a uh, Greek mythology kind of book. So next in line for the book to read. And then this one, I'm so excited for this one. This is uh, book two of Naomi Novik. Um, this is not the sequel because I know that this series is like um, standalone. It's a retelling. The first book uprooted and then this one is a retelling of Rampled Stiltskin. And then, since it's a book of the month box, uh, part of a book of the month um, box, this is a big tall book. At first, I thought uprooted was a big tall, big tall book. And Raf and Eka reminded me that it's a small, as a regular hardcover. So I was surprised and I was shocked. Wait, I'll show you. So this is the regular hardcover. Sorry for the glare, and this is the this is the There's a big difference in height, but but since I love this book, these books, and I'm so excited to read this one, so I don't mind. And by the way, the book one is like that has deckled edges, and this one doesn't have. So I'm not sure if the regular US cover or um, UK has deckled edges like this one. So inside, there's a note, I guess, and there's nothing at the end pages, it's just a plain white cover. So I'm so looking for this one, and look at the design, so nice, right? And then, get to the third book is... The Empress by S.J. Kincaid. If you have read Diabolic um, and you've liked it, like me, I li um, after I've read Diabolic, I was really looking forward to reading this one. And I was so glad that Raf got this from Book Outlet for me because I'm so looking forward to finishing the duology. This is just a duology, by the way. And if you see the design the cover, it's so cool, right? And then the naked it's fine it's just this oh by the way book outlet has an ongoing uh, black friday sale i think it's good for another two days or three days if i'm not mistaken so if you haven't uh, bought any books yet you better buy it right now because aside from their regular discounted price um they have a 30 percent off um from the total amount so that's another uh, uh, savings for you guys and then next is last star burning the reason i got interested with this one it's like you know the asian um 
um, Asian theme of this one. It's like a ninja or a spy. I guess it's something like that. So I got curious, and they said they said that this has good reviews. So definitely for me. Just the basic fact. And next is Thick as Thieves. This one, Raph got this sometime, in, I think, last year or a few months ago. But this is book five of the uh, five, five book series. And he asked if I wanted to have this. But since, of course, I'm gonna get it because it's a hardcover and it look at the crowns. I'm not gonna turn down something like this. Anything for a fantasy book like this one. So, I'm definitely gonna get the remaining books 1 to 4. It's lined up already. So, um, definitely, I already saw uh, the cover of the covers of the hard hardbound ones. Um, it's not the same as this one. So, if you want um, the uniformity of the dust jacket, uh, not the dust jacket, the cover, um, you might as well get the paperback because it has like the same theme because I think this is a new one. But if you just want to have the same format like me, just the same hardcover in height, um, you can get the used hardcover ones. You can check out thrift books or ape books as well. And I'm going to show you, it has a map. And um, like this one, black one. Oh, I love the, the layout of the inside i don't know what to call this flap of the dust jacket and this one it's from eka hi eka thank you so you know how i love julie kagawa eka is a big fan i think she's one of the number one fan of julie kagawa so i've read two of her series uh the only i think the only series i haven't read of kagawa's is the Iron Fae, aside from this new one, and I'm just trying to finish um, completing the the Turtleback Library Binding Edition of the Iron Fae series, and then I'm definitely gonna um, start reading that one. So I'm so glad that Eka got this one for me, because it's a big, tall book. You know how I love big, tall books. And look at the cover. And... The most important part, the reason why this book is so expensive looking is because of this one. Who else has this kind of, you know, illustration by Eka? The Nocturnal Fate Art. So cute, right? Next is, I'm gonna finish all the big doll book first. Thirteen. Rising. Um, this is the only, the last book that I am missing for the series. Um, I love this Zodiac novel, Raph and I. Um, we're both a fan of this one. Of course, I'm next in line. He's uh, at the top. I'm just next to him. Because he's just a fan of the, you know, Romina Russell's books. So, I'm just so glad he got this for me because I was holding on to um, Black Moon because I want to read it as soon as I have this one because I don't want to know that um, the moment I, I've read book three and then there's a cliffhanger there and then I'm gonna, you know, um, look for the, at the final book. Good thing he has this already. He got it for me. I love the dark blue. Is it royal blue? So if you haven't reread this um, Zodiac novel and if you're into sci-fi, you better start reading this because this is so cool. This is so nice. You're not going to regret reading this series and most of all collecting this series because it's so cool. And next is Ooh. The Song Rising. This is a collector's edition. I first, first of all, the um, I'm gonna rant. So the song, um, the Bone Season, books one and two has the same theme for their original 
book cover the this jacket but turned out they decided to you know change it and made the the classic ones into collector's edition so this one since i need the same theme or else i'm gonna go crazy <laughs> it's a collector's edition and good thing it's at book outlet so thank you so much book outlet for carrying the collector's edition and selling it for a really 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 great price and for ref for getting me this one and the orange oh my goodness the orange color is so and look at the naked spine. Like, wow. I love this cover. And I love the naked spine. It's so pretty. But since it's an 8 book series, I'm just gonna try to collect at least 5 before I start reading it. I don't know. I can't seem to start knowing that they're just gonna, they're gonna issue one per year. So, knowing me, I'm, I'm going to forget about it. So, might as well collect it while I'm getting the, the, the best price and friends are giving me. So, until such time, I'm going to hold on to it first. Next is Dorinda Jones, Sixth Grave on the Edge. Um, if you haven't read this one, actually, it's a for adult. Um, yeah, it's not an it's not a YA book, um, but some parts are yeah can be. But I think for an older teen, I guess young adult, not young adult, older teen. And um, I'm already at book um, six or seven because I've read the rest via ebook. So I'm trying to collect uh, to complete this one. I'm so happy that Book Outlet has this, but I have a boo-boo again. So, I forgot that Raph got me this one. And then, after a few, I think it was end of September, I was trying to get, um, I'm trying to order, and I saw this also. It was on sale, and I was in a hurry to get it for my cart after I checked out only then that I remembered that Oh no, I have it already. So if you have another other book of the this series and you want to exchange because I have two six grave, please do contact me. I'm willing to exchange with you guys. So um, so I, have I shown that there? It's just plain green, but it's so nice, right? The green cover and then the green naked spine. This one is like a paranormal kind of story. Um, the lead character here is a Grim Reaper, the girl version, and there are a lot of complications. And then the the evil one here is the guy supposedly that she's um, meant to whatever. But it's really fun and it's so cool. And I love that each chapter, if you're gonna read it, each chapter has like a quote unquote funny thing that I was thinking of putting it in a in a mug or something because it's so funny. Wait, I'm gonna show you. Wait, my like this one. Chapter four. My boyfriend called me a stalker. Well, he's not actually my boyfriend. Status update. So funny, right? I don't know. <laughs> it just got me. It's really funny for me. And this one. Oh, oh my goodness! All the glares. It's here. So, this was not included in my list. So, Rav just brought it last Friday and he said that since he wanted to get a UK Sprayed Edges edition, I don't mind because he wants to get it because he's going to give me this one. And I've been hearing a lot of good reviews for this one. And I was so curious. Sometimes when the book is so nice, I can't get myself to read it via ebook. I really want to get the real book, the, the physical book, especially the hardcover, and read it there. It's like when you're eating food, it's like we need to really sit down and really taste it. It takes time to, you know, um, taste it on your mouth. It's just like that for me, for a book that I know that's going to be really good as much as possible. I try to hold it off. But this one, since it's like meant to be, sorry for the glare, 
Um, so, since it's given to me, I'm gonna start reading it definitely this December. So, I love the blue and yellow, by the way. Same color of the my son's school. And this one, oh my goodness. I love this book. It's so blue. And it's so thick. Next one is this one. Half Drowned King. Actually, I don't have any idea what this is all about. It's just that rapid. Mommy, you should get it because it's so nice. And I say, yeah, of course. Because most of the time, our taste in books, the stories that we like, the genre, we have the same kind. So whatever I like, he likes. Whatever he likes, I like. So most of the time, we just give each other a list of what to read and what not to read. So I'm so looking forward to reading this one. But I guess this, I'm not sure if it is a duology or a trilogy. So I ch I'm going to check reads for this one. This is by Linnea Hartswick. So care. Oh, I didn't butcher your surname. Sorry for that. And then this one. Actually, I have it like this already. I ordered from Book Outlet, but it has a tear. And I got a new one, and I gave, I gave that one to Eka. Eka, you better read that already. It's so nice. So, of course, Neil Schusterman, my favorite. But first, before you read this one, if you decide to read Chester Man books, start with the Unwind series. I'm telling you, Unwind, you better start with that series. You're not going to regret it. But it's not for the faint of art and not for the kids, please. Your reality and your <laughs> book life will merge, I'm telling you. So, Sai, this one I've read this as well, and I loved it. It's a different kind of story. Um, it's like... Um, uh, it's a duology, so I'm looking forward to getting Thunderhead at Book Outlet. I'm gonna get one. So let's complete my duology. So, aside. Next is... The Hazelwood. I heard from a friend who's a collector of Alice in Wonderland. Hi, Mitch. That this is a retelling of Alice in Wonderland and look at that and pages my goodness I love it when publishers authors take time to really put um, nice end pages to their book and look at that I prefer this one than the green one but here the green one is like a special edition or special cover for a box something Good thing they do the did the black and gold for this one, the regular one, because I love it. It's so pretty. And next is Rattle Bones. I need some um, suspense mystery in my life. Not that I don't have. Oh my goodness. I need to put this down because the light is being covered. And I'm going to do this one first. We're down to the last three. The Serpent King. Would you believe I've been hunting for this book for like months already? Like I think it's more than six months or almost a year that I've been trying to get hold of this book because I'm so curious that um, they said it's really, really, really good. But I was just surprised that it was a regular hardcover size. I thought it was a big, tall book. But nonetheless, I love it. I'm so looking forward to reading this one. I just don't know what the genre is. See, I'm so good at it. <laughs> I just get the books just because they said so. Most of the time, um, I'm having fun reading the books even if sometimes I don't read them. Most of the time, I don't read the synopsis. And this too. This has been in my wish list for like years already. You know, it, this has been issued for like how many years already. And at first, it was because of the gowns. Hello, hello. I'm not so girly, but I love the gowns. You cannot blame me for that. It's like, see? Um, so this is book two and three. Fortunately, I need book one. So book one, hello, whoever you are who can give me book one. <laughs> for me to complete this already. Anyways, this is book two. I'm gonna show you. 
It's like so yummy. So cream. Cream, cream, cream. And then book three. So black, black. Black and black. I feel like purple. Oh, it has black and white. Anyways. So, I haven't read synopsis for this one also. But definitely, I know I'm going to like it. And my kids are going to like it, the girls. Because, um... Because I know the story is more likely for the for their age. And I think that's it. So, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 books. 17 books that I got. Am I gonna wait? Wait. I'm gonna copy you, Raph. For trying to carry the books. I cannot. It's so hard. Oh my goodness. Shocks. Oh, shocks. That's... I'm not gonna attempt because I might drop it and I'm gonna regret it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. There. See, ah! Oh, shock. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I do hope you had fun. <laughs> While I make a fool of myself here, so um, I'll make another video. You know me. Um, so I'll see you guys soon. Bye.